Hello you guys, it's been a while, this is Narcus here from the Naked Fanatics clan and I'm going to be hosting my first um, 1v1 commentary video for Shogun Total War 2. Um, we're going to, in the yellow alliance you will see Von Lipwig and the red alliance hosts Chrissy, I think. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And we're fighting the battle on foothills. Um, now, before we start, I'm going to take a small pause so we can look at all the units. Um, Vaughn has taken, well, not many archers. He has one archer, the uh, unit of Boishigaru. Um, he also has a matchlock samurai unit. Then he has Naginata warrior monks. Um, Nagina, Nagina Samurai, three units of Katana Samurai, um, and two Yari Cav. Yeah, I'm right. He also have a he also has a level four general. I don't know what he specialized in. Um, let's take a look at him. Maybe. Well, he has he has a bow, so I'm assuming he's specialized in the um, bow uh, skill tree. Now let's look at the opponent, Cressy. Um, he has two units of Yari Cav. Uh, they seem to be vetted, though. So, uh, one of them is level three. That's it. That's all his cav. Um, then he has one, two, three, four, five, six, six units of. Lone Sword Ashigaru. Am I right? Yeah, there's a unit of Katana Samurai in there. And he's brought fire rockets. Oh god, I hate artillery. He also has a unit of Matchlock Warrior Monks and a general which does not have a bow. In fact, he looks a lot like my general. <laughs> but whatever. Um, let's see how it goes. I think we're going to see melee fairly quickly because both of the uh, both of the parties involved have no or little uh, missile fire. Vaughn only has Boa Shigaru and Cressy has well that matchlock samurai. Oh, and the fire rocket. Sorry. It seems like uh, Cressy is looking for the hill, planning to bring his fire rockets there. So. Uh, they're protected by the cliff. If you should think that missile units get a bonus in range when standing on a hill, then that is wrong. I used to think that as well, but it's not the case, so don't bother going up hills with your missile units because they don't get any advantage. What it does, though, is protect him from cavalry here, and um, it will take a while for Vaughn to mount on the mountain, so units are still slowed by by hills. Looks like he's moving his cavalry here. Probably planning to take that fire rocket out, but I'm not sure if he if he saw Cressy's uh, Yari Cav. Yep, he saw it, and he's going to go for it. He's just going to charge him head on. Let's see how that works out for him. Oh, he got one in the flank here, uh, but his unit is charged in the flank as well. See, you can see the morale damage already. That's going good for Vaughn though. Aha, but another unit comes up out of nowhere and routes Vaughn's cavalry. <laughs> I didn't even saw that one coming, that's quite a surprise. So Vaughn has lost all his cavalry in one bold move. Our men are running from the battlefield. Yep, they're all gone. Look at all the dead horses. Now Chrissy is um, capping points in the meanwhile. Um, I don't know why he would go, why he would get that archery dojo. He's only got like one, two missile units anyway. He's going for the shrine as well, as you can see, and he's divided his, he's divided his army. 
all this cav on the hill with the fire rockets and a unit of Lone Sword Ashigaru in case he brings up spears. Looks like Vaughn is capping the um, sword dojo now. Kind of curious what what he'll try to do next. All right, the uh, shrine has been capped, the sword dojo as well, and Vaughn's on the move. If he moves quickly, uh, he could actually. Uh, try and take on this part of Cressy's army. Depends a bit how he plays it out. He's gonna have to take care of that cavalry here because um, that's really the uh, thorn in his side right now. His general is under fire from fire rockets. So. 12, lost 12 units in one volley. By the way, should you comment on this video, um, <laughs> it's actually worth discussing if fire rockets are overpowered or not. I personally think they are. Actually, I actually think that all RT in um, Shogun, Shogun Total War 2 is overpowered. You can just snipe enemy generals with it, or at least keep them back away from their army so they don't have influence. Vaughn is doing a pretty good job maneuvering. Um, Cressy seems unsure of what to do with his cavalry. Probably waiting for the right moment to try and charge him in the side or uh, or the back. He's also Cressy is also getting ready to fire upon Vaughn's army. Uh, Vaughn's actually done a pretty good job putting his troops in the uh, in the forest because um, that makes it harder for Cressy to hit him. Oh, his Naginata Samurai being charged by Lone Sword Ashigaru. They should win though, uh, especially since the uh, Lone Sword Ashigaru are fatigued. His Katana Samurai here is doing well against his Cressy's Lord um, Lone Sword Ashigaru here. And let's see what Cressy does with his cavalry. They should play a key role in this battle. Cressy has actually moved up his general here, as you can see. Oh, Vaughn's general has just been killed. That's a hard blow for his army. His matchlock samurai are shitting their pants. <laughs> They've collected themselves now. See if they can get a volley on these known sword Ashigaru. I think one volley would suffice. And Cressy is moving his cavalry to charge the bow, bow Ashigaru and the uh, matchlock samurai. There's a big melee going on here in the forest. Fawn's got the. Uh, the matchlocks engaged and the fire rockets. So they're going to win that battle. Ooh, and I think they might have a chance at killing their Cressy's general. Mm, Cressy is actually not doing a really good job here. He's um, he's letting o he's letting all his units engage. One single unit. Our unit has to my lord. Which is actually um, a little dumb um, because the units will suffer from fatigue but they won't have the space to fight. 
Von Charge down the hill. Has that melee bonus. And is routing routing Chrissy's army. They won't hold out for much longer. Although these are Katana Samurai. Uh, the other units were uh, Lone Swords. Cressy charging in his cav. What is he going to do with it? Now he should back his cav out and charge again. But he's actually not doing that. Now uh, Yari Cav is good at charging enemy units, but once they get bogged down in fights, they um, they tend to surrender quickly. Their effectiveness is in their charge and against other cavalry. This won't do him any good. Part of the unit, part of the cav unit, seems to be engaged with the uh, with the spears here, the warrior monks, and these warrior monks will not rout. They have quite an effective melee attack, and they have supreme morale. So. I'm guessing they will stay there, stay and fight until the last man. Well, not the last man, <laughs> but the last men, maybe. Cressy has another unit of Lone Sword Ashigaru. Um, he's running him in as fast as he can. He should really be retreating that cav for another charge. If he could bring him up the hill and let him charge down, he could actually win this. But it looks like Vaughn is going to win this one. He's starting to route. Yes, this is over. This is Vaughn's game now. There's only cav left here in that engagement. Or, mm, yeah, there's only cav. And they're being beaten by that unit of warrior monks. I wonder how many kills they got in the end. Uh, pity I don't have a screenshot of that. My Lord, a glorious, victory will glorious victory for Vaughn. Alright, this is my first game. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with more later. Bye bye guys.